Good day, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. This is Straight Talk, No Chase. We are back once again. I am your brother, the Juice Man, Dan. And I'm Mr. Let's Talk Real, Cohen Cosby. Trip Simpson. Nice and sober today. (laughs) Nice and sober today? For right now. I don't believe you. (laughs) We need more people. (laughs) Oh, man. So what we got going on today, man? We got a lot going on today. We got a lot of special guests today. Uh, the vibe in the room is real good today. Everything's airy, man. Uh, we got Kusta over there trying to figure out something. So uh, you want to talk to the people? Spiffy wireless mics. <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah, you handle that pretty nice over there, man. This one all too? <laughs> I think Kusta wanted to be a rapper in back in the day. He handled that mic pretty well. Hey, yo, <laughs> but we got a real live show today, Paul. man. Y'all, y'all came out. You, you, your energy was a little low, man. We got a live show. We're living it up. We living it up. Living we it got up. one of the top style bloggers on the East Coast in the building. We Who got else? one of the most recognizable, what do you call them, humanitarian? Uh, activist? Yeah, social justice. It, it, activist, don't, I don't think it comes in all that. Because I don't like when somebody just say, oh, you're an activist. Like, I, you know, I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Well, we'll bring him on later and we'll let him know how he you feels. You know what I'm saying? You don't like that. <laughs> I don't like <laughs> that. <laughs> we'll call you an in, activist. In com- yeah, I don't like that. Okay. I mean, what what don't you like about it, man? I don't, I, because it's not encompassing, really. If you do more than act like... He go using the HBCU lot, words, man. Come on, man. <laughs> hey, do we got to bring on, back man. his word faux pas from <laughs> last <laughs> week? No, let's leave that in the past. Anybody know the magic word from last week? Nah, Somebody man, tell us. Somebody got to use it. Epitome. Epitome. That's a word, man. That's a word. We're not going when he thought that. he was saying epitome. epitome. And then he looked it up and still said epitome. <laughs> and he said it very eloquently. Y'all remember? He was like, <laughs> in, in summation, the epitome of this topic is everybody's like, what? <laughs> well, now, listen, you say potato, I say potato. That was the, uh, that was the, epi- that's, that's the, that was the epitome of your stupidity. Right. <laughs> Well, let's let's just right, we, let, we, oh, we also have we also have Rich's clothing in the building today. Rich's they, they've been in the, on the show before too, so we got a good show lined up for you, and uh, we're gonna bring our first guest. Hey, we all got we got Omar in the building as well, man. Oh, yeah. Don't forget about Omar over there. Shout out to Black Alley. Shout out to Black Black Alley, the man behind the engine of Black Alley. Shout out to John being in the building tonight. What's up, John? Drunk John. John Molly. So let's bring our guests up. Let's start with our fashionista. As she makes her way to the podium. Boom, boom. Yes, let's stand man. right next to Kusta. Can we get the split screen up, please? This dude. That That's... That's Juice Man's wife calling, by the way. Make sure he's really at where he's supposed to be. Yeah, he gets sure. those check-in go. calls. He don't mind, home is, don't get, mind that. Ain't nothing wrong with food. it. Ain't nothing wrong. She can check up on me long as she wants. Anyway, let's get to our guests. Tell the people who you are and how they can find you. I'm Yana B. from Style Stamps. Style.stamps on Instagram or www.stylestamps.com is my blog. Okay. Your blog. So what's yes. your blog about? My blog is about... It's about lifestyle fashion. It's about how to come out with your own original style, mm-hmm. how to not just jump on trends, and how to just basically take what's in your own closet. And become and a ma- trendsetter. Yes, your own trendsetter. Yeah. Mm. So, so it, is this for men and women or just women? It's primarily for women. Okay, okay. So like, what, what kind of tips do you have for women? Like, it's, like cause you say just go in your own closet and just make yes. something of it. He has well, several women's outfits. He likes to dress up in women's clothes <laughs> sometimes. So he's really asking for himself. You want me to expand on that? Yeah. And so, the gay dolphin. So for the, cro- uh, for the cross dresses on the stage, no, give him some house. style no, tips. No. Yeah, I ask you that because I have a house full of women, okay. and I think they got enough clothes. But, you know, they, all, they always need to go back to the store. So I'm trying to figure out how we can take some of these clothes and, 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 and you know, do it like that. I Boom. got you. The number one thing I would say is when you have somewhere to go, don't go shopping. Go shopping in your own closet first. Because okay. going to the store right before you have to go somewhere is like going to the grocery store hungry. And you know you get in the grocery store and you just like, oh my God, I'm so hungry. I just want to get everything. When you go, when you have to go to an event, 
don't go shopping on that same day because you're gonna one confuse yourself you're gonna run out of time you're gonna be frustrated and then you just start buying whatever then you still gotta go home and try to figure it out and you most likely gonna end up still wearing something in your closet yo you just showed that the woman's mind is so complicated <laughs> I mean, everybody should just be like me. I, I mean, everything you said was so well put together, but all I could think was, women think way, way too, too much. much. You know what I do? You put a lot of... I go to the store, I see what I want for the day. <laughs> I hide the tags while I'm wearing them. And I take the motherfuckers right back to the store. She said, go in the closet, remove the dog, push the shoes out of and you know, But you know what? A lot of people do that too. Good but free. at the end of the day, most likely you're going to forget you bought the clothes, oh, not God. take them back. Tight or right you going to be like, nah, I'm going to just keep them and I'm going to wear it one day. Man. And then those be the clothes that ends up in your closet for five years. Tri Trip, Trip is banned one. from several malls and stores oh, yeah, because yeah. of this. So he's a professional <laughs> yeah, uh, returner backer. I can't even show my face in Pentagon shit. <laughs> 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 Too many motherfucking returns, man. <laughs> First nigga in history. <laughs> Banned from Pentagon City for hey. two minute return. He wasn't the first. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, they got a picture of him in the front of the Zara and then the store. And that store just no got there. Yeah. His picture shouldn't be hey, up look, there so soon. I, I work I work fast. It hasn't even been there a year yet. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, wait, wait, you're not from here, are you? No. I you said Southampton. You said Southampton, right? No. Oh, thank you. She definitely did. I thought she said Southampton. I, 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 I hear a little New York. New York. I'm from New York. You said South something. No, I never said South. What do you think? I hear South something. I don't know, sir. South no, no, I'm no, from no. New York. Are you from Born New and raised in New York. Mm -hmm. I've always been into fashion. Uh, when I was little, I used to like write down everything I would wear to make sure I didn't wear it again. Because oh, I didn't nice. want people being like, oh, you were. Even though nobody was checking for your clothes that heavy. But again, the, mo the way the woman's mind no. work, you be thinking everybody gonna be looking like, oh, you wore those jeans Tuesday and it's Friday and of the next week and nobody's thinking that hard, but. I know that's probably difficult in the Instagram era now, Facebook. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, that's kind of bringing back. It's a good point. It is a good point. A lot of people don't want to get caught on social media wearing the same outfit. Definitely. Hence, that takes you to the mall or go buy an outfit that. Nope, you won't catch me. <laughs> <laughs> you probably ain't never going away again because you took a picture in it already. Straight up, I learned that promoting clubs. Black T-shirt is the win. I'm on my Simon way? Cow. You don't got to think about it. You don't, nah, it's, nah, it's, you don't got to think about it. It's easy. <laughs> Either I want the the not so ashy black T-shirt, the brand new black T-shirt. You got an ashy joint. Today. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. This one, <laughs> this this is why I came from the gym. I ain't even making it home, bro. I, I had a busy schedule today, man. For me, it's the white V-neck. You could do anything with a white V-neck. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Especially girls or men. For me, it's richest clothing. Rich's clothing. Rich's clothing. Shame, the, shameless plug. Rich's clothing in Rich's, the building. We got, we got, we got Rich's clothing <laughs> in the building today. They have their gear. They are friends of the show. And speaking of that, As a matter of fact, bring some gear up here because y'all yeah. was been supposed to be been, been here. Yeah. So go ahead and get your shine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go ahead put her in the fashion. You know what I'm saying? We gonna put switch it up right on there. We gonna we switch it right on up. Um, so Rich's clothing. Straight out of Northeast, right? Yeah. Straight out of Northeast DC, clean side, the, right? the great, the clean side of Northeast DC. This perfect for you, Trip. It still got the tag on. He gonna try to return this to y'all two weeks. <laughs> Somehow he won his money back, but he got it for free. So Rich, Rich is, come on this side of the stage real quick so we can um, transition. So boom, boom. To the fashionista, we appreciate you coming through. I appreciate you um, having hold me. Hold on, hold on. Before you change, we gotta ask her one more question. All right, right? what you got? If you gotta give us some closing wisdom. Mm. If you could give your top, let's say top three tips that are most popular on your blog or most popular that people ask you about, you know, your, your services, what would you say? Buy clothes that fit. Oh, definitely. Find out what size you wear and stick to that, especially in denim, mm -hmm. because denim can take you a long way. The type of material it is, it's going to be long lasting. It never goes out of style. So get some denim. It's, it's okay to invest in some denim. My, um, another thing is, is that if you need style help, you should ask for it. Like, that's another way to save down on costs when you go to the mall. If you confuse or you can't really figure out what your style is, ask for style help. That's what I do. I come in and I'm like, let me help you evaluate what your style is. What do you like? What do you want to be? Who are you? 
you gotta know who you are first before you can just start putting on clothes to you know define your style so that's a big thing I would put in for men and women. That keeps you away from trends. And again, that keeps you from spending all your money in a mall trying to be somebody you're not really sure you are. Because you can't wear the same thing everybody else wears. You can't wear the same thing everybody else can. Exactly. So yeah, we appreciate you, sister. I have one more question. Okay. Um, how long have you been, um, I had two more questions. Um, when did you get started uh, doing this? I got started blogging about three years ago. <laughs> But I only really got into blogging because I've always been in the fashion industry. And when I switched from fashion to a non-fashion job, <laughs> I still wanted a creative outlet. And so that's how I ended up becoming into blogging and I like writing and stuff like that. You know, I, I did my research. I researched all the guests before they come. Um, what I, I saw in uh, one of your biographies was that you, you've overcome a lot of stuff, correct? Yes. Um, how did that um, factor into, you know, what you're doing now? That factored into what I'm doing now, I think, by one, finding my confidence. Okay. Two, I've always been pretty confident in fashion, but when I was going, what he's referring to is that I have lupus. I was diagnosed with lupus when I was 15 years old. Mm. By the time I was 19, I was on dialysis. And I had, I was in college, um, while everybody else was out partying, I was going to dialysis and going to classes. And I had several different locations to have like ports for dialysis. And so I had to figure out how to use my fashion sense to not have people be like, oh, what is that Frankenstein thing looking come out of her neck <coughs> or out of her chest? Right. So I would... I learned how to dress so that nobody ever knew that I was on dialysis. I never called myself sick. Right. Um, I don't believe in doing that, but I use that to kind of help me get through it. Okay. That's great. That's, that's, that's very inspiring. That's very inspiring. It is inspiring. Straight up. Yeah. That makes me want to go. Like, me picking out clothes don't match to that. <laughs> right. That's why I always say you have to, like, know who you are mm -hmm. and, you know, Style and no style can help you overcome a lot of things. You, if you don't have a job yet, start dressing like you got the job. If you, you know, feel like you, if you're sick, then dress like you're not sick. You don't have to just succumb to whatever life is throwing at you, and you can do that through style. Hell yeah! All, all you need is two hundred dollars and you know matter. time to get back and forth to the store. You know to turn that shit in. Yep. And be good at dodging and stains and spills and shit. <laughs> Just my fashion advice. You know? Right. <laughs> Kusta, are you dressing for your job? Are you gonna be a soccer coach? This is what you look like. <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't wore a hat in like 20 years. Like, <laughs> yeah, he always got right the, the jailhouse stocking cap. Man. Like, damn, we Dan and them know I ain't even wear a hat when I had a haircut. Hey, that shit like Coop <laughs> fake Jamaican hat. <laughs> <It's you>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else was up? We going um, we gonna get Rich's clothing up on the stage, man. We Thank definitely appreciate the interview. Me. Thank you. Hey, and make sure, hey, make sure y'all uh, follow her on Instagram and yes, everything at style dot stamped. Especially use uh, style challenge, ladies out there. Go on there, get some tips, <laughs> upgrade your style, and get right. There you go. Thank you so much Thank for coming. You. We need an applause track for shit after this. Everybody clap it up for them. We low tech right now. We got to add that applause track. This shit. Now we got riches in the building. Boom. Boom. Oh, shit. We got more shit? Oh, that's why I got on that. Uh, for those of that's why I had on the Ashy t-shirt. Because I was expecting to put on another t-shirt. I need that XL. I need an XL. Too. What it do, fellas? I need a large, man. I'm actually, there we go. I'm like in between a large yeah, and a medium. I'm too big for a large, but too small for a Shut medium. Shut your dumb ass up. <laughs> uh, Paint the Town Reds just walked in the building, they, so. They just call that dad bob, baby. Nah, nah, I ain't got the dad bob. Dad bob. I don't got dad bob. Say I'm in between the large hey, and the medium. Hey, Trip I'm a, I'm a leave. Ch check out the price tag. You see we got our own price tags. They I'm sell a, those at Kohl's. Hey, you ain't. They'll go on the price hey, tag. Hey, that nigga say I'm in between the large and the medium. I'm a Marge and face ass, boy. Get out of here. Look at this. That's tight. We got the uh, richest gear in the building today. 
Where the extra large at? I need a hey. They ran his trip past the money. We are the we are the first. Hold on, hold on, hold on, we are the first show. One time, I need I, hey, I need special orders, cuz I need all red. I need an all red jump. Yo. Hey, I need the number. No bullshit. Hey, Reds. <laughs> hey, we got this. We gonna get security to stop Reds at the door. He keeps storming the show, show. and taking the mic. <laughs> What's up? You guys are back again. Yeah, we here, man. What's going on? What's new, man? What's new? With What's these, new? These hats is new. We got some uh, this spring and fall. I mean, that's it, spring and fall. This spring and summer coming up. Right now, we got some fire coming. Some no, fire. La- you know, last fall, we uh, it's like the preliminaries. We just throwing some out there, just trying it out. Uh-huh. We're getting better at designing it. Getting better at getting it back, distributing uh-huh. it. We got some, we got some heat coming for y'all. Expect something. Uh, we got dad caps. We got the great dad caps coming too. Oh yeah, Dang, I see, I see for the summertime. There's a lot of dads up here. Y'all need to get all the dad caps <laughs> y'all can get. Okay. They go with, they go perfect with the new banners. Hey, Riches, all that. man, we can, look. Can we let the people know we, where we can find you again, yeah, real quick. Richesclothing.com uh, and on Instagram at richesclothing. That's the that's the Instagram, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> richesclothing. You can hit up C Jack City underscore. You can hit up Mr. Jackson, 1800 underscore on uh-huh. his, um, Instagram. And yeah, if yeah. you're going to be the spokesman, you need to know the goddamn Instagram, CJ. <laughs> <Right. laughs> That's hey, the goddamn he shame. He came up here looking fly in the hey. riches, but he stumbled on the word. He said, hey, what's hey. the Instagram? <laughs> Nigga, Google man, that we got, shit. We got like five pages, man. <laughs> hey, <laughs> like, don't hey but what I'm interested in know about, man, because a lot of people have been asking me about this lately, man. What's the process, man? Let people man. know. Because there's a lot of people who are aspiring entrepreneurs out there. They want to have clothing lines. They want to rep their own brands, but they don't know the process. You know what I'm saying? If you could give them maybe two to three tips that can help them out with their process uh, of getting, not even to the point where y'all left because y'all are in production, y'all are selling, y'all shit is booming. But just getting in the game, what, what advice would you give them? The first thing is know, know, know that's what you want for, for sure. Okay. Know it's exactly what you want. Have patience, and it's all about time, man. It definitely is, and I feel like once you have that time and then patience, and you already got your mindset on what you want to do, mm-hmm. the universe to open up for you. You <laughs> gonna, you gonna, you gonna see, you gonna see what moves you need to make. That's called you know manifesting what I'm your own destiny. Exactly. You gonna see what moves you need to make, and you just move forward. Don't get discouraged, even if you move. It's life not meant to go smooth. You know what I mean? Don't get discouraged. Yeah. Do not get discouraged. There's not a Obstacles are gonna get in your way, but if you know if that's what you want to do, your will should overcome the obstacles right. every time. You Especially know I mean? if that's what you meant to do. Exactly. You gotta rise above. Exactly. And that's you know we talk about that a lot on the show about rising above, and, and and it's about opportunities. Exactly. You know what I mean? And sometimes those opportunities don't come, but do you have the will and the strength to go on when the opportunity is not there, exactly. just to know that it's gonna happen? That's alchemy. That's you know a fact. I mean? You know. Opportunities don't knock on the door. The best advice that, uh, 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 that I say is like, don't let nobody rush you. Like, just take your time. I don't care what nobody's saying. Man, you need to come with this. You need to come with that. Or you need to hurry up and get this hat out and get this out. Get this out. You gotta take your time because you will like lose all your focus and you like, like you be ready to give up. So you right. just gotta keep at it and just know what you wanna do. Have your quality going and just. Hold on, yeah. let me ask you a question. What high school did you go to? I went to Flowers. Yeah, you went to Flowers? Okay. Oh, you want to know what I... Oh. I, I <laughs> no, he just, he, asked, he just asked random fucking questions sometimes. <laughs> no, that was real random because I, I, I... Like, nigga, I seen you at the high school well, reunion. He's, he's, he, he, he's always trying to find people that went to Gonzaga for some reason. <laughs> I mean... It's not, hey, we in D.C., bro. It's only like seven niggas that can afford to go to God's <laughs> bro. You already know all seven of them, Seven niggas bro. a year. Yeah, you already know all of them, dog. <laughs> Chill. He definitely one of them, my best friend. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, See, yeah. you know him already. Y'all hung out and all that. <laughs> yeah, he was going hey, You know all for him, right? <laughs> Look, you know all four of them. That's because they saw them niggas throwing a football down the street. Hey. Oh, man, get him. <laughs> hey, and more power to them, man. More power to them. God is purple. You know what I'm talking about? Purple? Anyway, hit that bell, man. I hope God ain't purple. <laughs> hey, uh, question, though, man. Um, So, 
what do you guys have uh, have uh, have upcoming like as far as um, where we can get riches? Is it only on the website? Do you have any pop up shops planned out, or are they going to be in any stores? Uh, we got some pop up shops that we planning on oh. doing. that's coming soon, but soon it's going to be in like all the barber shops. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's gonna be power shops. They're gonna be like the barber shop. You know, we gonna have like the plain teas coming. So you go to like your local gas station, liquor store. You walk in there, you get a plain tea, good car. We got the European cut on them. That's yeah. why they yeah, website. Actually, the cut is really good. On yeah, you working on the search. store and all that. So hey, yeah. shout out, shout out to. Uh, this shit motivated me to go to the gym, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no bullshit. That, that first run. The first show we we had the dad, but I been. I was like, this ain't, this ain't no motherfucking large. Yeah, we, nah, I think I had that was a year old. We got at least 50 shit right. That was a year old large, bro. <laughs> hey, but look, speaking of pop-up shops, man, and we talk about opportunities on the show all the time. So we want to talk with y'all after the show because we're what we're about to start doing in this show, we've had a lot of clothing companies come on, and a lot of us, people don't have brick and mortar. So what we're doing for this show, for not just clothes, but businesses, period, we're going to start having pop-up shops here. So you, you know, say, look, Rich's Clothes is going to be at Straight Talk, No Chase, such and such date. And we push that thing for about a month, and then we start doing pop-up shops here because we're about advancing our culture. Like we said, that's All what the cats out about. the bag now. Of course. No, nah, I wanted them to know. It's not, no, nah, let the cats out the bag because... Businesses hey. reach out and people need spots to yeah. sell their stuff. They gonna steal all our ideas, Dan. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> we were supposed to talk to y'all about that after the show. <laughs> but since everybody know, everybody on Instagram Live know, we gonna have a pop up shop, y'all. It's, all, it's always one. It's always one about to do ass nigga on the hey, stage. You know hey, what I'm look. saying? Good lord. I put the whole shit down, didn't I? He did, bro. Hey, John, edit that shit out. <laughs> <laughs>